And next we're going to have a poem by Joe Duro. Jean Duro. Just preface this uh, briefly. The first poem I wrote uh, right after the horrific bombing around a year, a little over a year ago, of that <clears throat> Doctors Without Borders hospital uh, by the American military, uh, in which 30 people, some of whom, many of whom were children, burned in their beds, etc. Uh, and um, <clears throat> I just wanted to say there are ter many terribly disturbing things about war, but two of the things most disturbing to me are the way it's made antiseptic uh, with euphemisms and, uh, you know, kind of whitewashing what actually happens on the other end of bombs and weapons to people and the effect on, of war on children. This first poem is called Collateral Damage. We all know what that means. <clears throat> Screaming out of the sky, computer-driven death creates below burning babies, screaming. Creates crushed bodies, screaming. Creates that child's arm lying alone on a floor. Creates a leg here, a head there creates the heavy stench of black bubbling flesh, creates the crackle of burning bones, the agony of mangled humanity screaming, creates screaming destruction, creates the tenth circle of hell. And you creators of war, you connoisseurs of destruction, you dealers of death, and gorged and glutted with bloodlust and bombs, you sit on heaps of offal and delusion while you fabricate, pontificate, prevaricate, equivocate, hypothesize, fantasize, propagandize, mule, prattle, babble, jabber, blabber, and prate, and babies burn. Pious mendacity drips like pus from your pursed and twisted lips your apologies, rivers of mendacity. Your promises, meretricious pap. Your justifications, delusional tripe. Your shameless visions bleed out of you like slime from a lesion and wash over the smiling face of the world and crush the aching heart of the world. And babies burn, and babies burn, screaming. Second one is called Children of War. <clears throat> Huddled cold and blue in the bloody mud of a dark, silent hole, three children cry softly, cry shivering tears that disappear into the unforgiving earth which engulfs them, cry for their broken lives, their broken limbs, for their mother lying lifeless beside them. <clears throat> for the dreams they'll never dream, for the lost joy of summer days, for the melodies of night, for the soft smile on their mother's face as she held them each night and sang the good night song they used to love, and which now, in the cold and the dark and the death-filled hole, they try to sing together through their tears. Sing to bring them sleep and a whisper of joy and maybe, just maybe, some peace. The words of the song they remembered and loved and will never hear again are these. The evening is coming, the sun sinks to rest. The birds are all flying straight home to their nest. All the birds sing as they fly overhead. It's time, little children, we're going to bed. And one more. Is it one more? Do I have time for one more? OK. <clears throat> How great is war? Don't tell me about the glory of slaughtering children, of melting their fragile flesh with your white phosphorus, of slicing them into fragments with your cluster bombs, of frying them into agonizing death with your napalm, of blowing off their arms and legs and heads with your shiny high-tech drones. 
Don't, dra- don't brag to me about the heroic efforts of your heroic heroes who are the murderous moving parts of your corporate-driven killing machine. Don't rave to me about freedom and democracy and blah, blah, fucking blah when it's only the bloodlust of profit and power at the black heart of your butchery. Don't sing to me of the land of the free and the home of the brave and America the beautiful. Don't proclaim to me the exceptionalism which allows, in fact requires, the extermination of lives and dreams and hearts and minds. Just shut up and stop the wars.